What's up, my friends? Hi, yeah, yours. So, what's the plan? I'm going to go to Hello. 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 ko pang hawak sa kanya. to purify you can feel it here behind got that Hi. so she started eating I know we're not supposed to put the uh, where the cat eats and pee but for now since she's new at the house and we're introducing her to Ning Wong. I mean, Wong's not okay with her yet. Uh, she needs to be here to take her time. So we got Ning Wong her new home. Yeah, it's very Japanese. She's finally asleep. One thing's for sure, uh, cats like to have their own like room or space that where you don't want to bother them. So if you go, on, if you keep taking them out. To the certain space or spots in the house, they'll feel like that spot is not safe and they'll get agitated, they'll get anxiety, and they'll figure out another way where they'll feel safe. They might even go under the couch, which happened to us. Or actually, she, what she likes doing, 
ni Yun likes to hide under the sheet. Yung lalagay dun sa ano? Sa liter. So this is just day one with, I guess, we're gonna call her Shenha. Uh, she's in my room. What are you doing there? Hi! 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 What are you doing there? Why is she so easy? I'm not sure. Mmm. Is that okay? Hi. You are scared? Yes. Hi. Hi. What's that? What is it? What's that? What's that? Hi. Ah, Anastasia. Why would they say that? Anastasia, I'm not going to say that. Anastasia, I'm not going to say that. I know you guys can see me, but I got this catnip spray. Um, it's all natural and stuff, and there's also a catnip uh, powder. We got this one. Apparently, it's not working. She has this one. We're gonna try this out. And we have this one. The good stuff. Oh, she's going crazy at it. Oh, damn. Oh, you like it, huh? I sprayed this with catnip. And now... Oh, she wants it. In the tags. Huh? I'm up. You'll be okay. Huh? May progress na mga. Good job. I'm distracted. Bye. Good job. Good job. It's so distracted. Good job. Hey friends, Michael Martinez, uh, editor here. There's so much progress already. We found out that Ning Guang is very food motivated, so yeah, as you guys can see from the video, Ning Guang is just like ignoring Shenha because the food is there in front of her face. It's just, just like really just chomping, chomping, chomping the food. And that's what you want to do, you know, like have them eat at a certain distance. Uh, the only reason why we put a barrier uh, is because Shenha likes to invade <laughs> uh, Ning Guang's space. So. She just likes to get in front of you, not just on Ningguang, but on to us as well. So she likes to just put her face on your face so close that just like, <gasps> and smells you like crazy. Like, <laughs> who <are> you? <laughs> and sometimes she would run away and be like acting like she doesn't know us, but I guess that's, that's her. <laughs> that's what you want to do, basically, is just that you want them to acknowledge each other's presence sent to let your cat resident know that like someone's here and she's gonna stay she's fine she's not gonna take over everything anything and you don't want to make the cat resident feel that she's being replaced you know so she, you want Shenha get down she likes to do this Shenha likes to be on always on my computer so it's so hard to work uh, 
Uh, yeah. So this is this is Shanha, aka Anastasia. <laughs> Get down. All right. You wanna play with them together, um, and give them food right after, or like give them treats right after to let them know this is a good thing. It's like basically like training your cats, like. When you're teaching them treat uh, like tricks, you basically when they do the trick, you just give them the treats, and you and then when you're petting them, and again like kissing your cat, that they don't understand kissing them is like a kiss, so to them it's like nodding their uh, like rubbing their head against you or or petting them. That's like when they know okay you love me, thank you. But the kisses they don't understand. But you can do that too by actually just rubbing them, and then and then kiss, rubbing them again, and then kiss. At first actually Ningguang hates getting kisses from me but now like she understands that it's a good thing because like you know you just makes them you make them understand that it's a good thing and then they'll learn and cats learn very very quickly so think you have nothing to worry you just have to be very very patient <laughs> Madamihan Kaya gusto ako pepperoni ah All right, guys. So finally, one week, seven days of Shenya being here, and we've discovered a lot of things, learned a lot of things throughout those those days, and definitely what we've learned is switching to tofu litter because the other ones, the sand one, ugh, 
you know, I'm asthmatic, so the dust and, and we're just trying our best to figure out how to make Shenha stop sneezing because she started sneezing. There's like started we started seeing phlegm on her, uh, um, sipon. What's sipon in English? Oh my gosh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I forgot. Um, booger. <laughs> Yeah, the, the thing. Yeah, the colds thingy. Yeah, so there's like phlegm. <laughs> oh my gosh. We decided to change it because I'm. it's also affecting me. And of course, like we didn't know. If you guys remember the video, for the first part of this video where on the first day we were getting Shen Ha, the breeder was like, oh, this and that. I don't want you to get in trouble. I don't want you to do this. I don't want you to get I don't, blah, 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 blah. I, I want to make things uh, a lot easier for you. Do this. I'll give you the, so many free stuff. I mean, no hate or at all, but like, we didn't know that Shen ha is sick and so she had like ear infection uh, we had to go to the vet uh, I think we have some videos here and there good thing Ningguang is very has a very strong immune system and I guess because like we've been giving her like vitamins from the day one that we got her I guess she's just like very very strong and they didn't like she didn't get sick at all until this day she didn't get sick getting back to what I'm saying is that highly suggested for you guys to do to switch from tofu and and your cat your cats might not like it but to be honest it is gonna be better for not only for your cats but only but at the same time for you as well especially if you're like me who's asthmatic and definitely something to keep in mind you guys can do like a fear wood or something like that litter litter fear wood or something like that you guys can get that as well Ningguang actually at first didn't like the the tofu and she started complaining she you could see her you can hear her meowing so much it's like oh my gosh what is this I don't like tofu tofu litter uh, I hate this. It feels weird, but it's actually gonna be better. It doesn't smell when they poop, especially when they poop. They, when they they pee, the cl um, the clumping power is very very good. Whichever brand you get, um, this is just the the brand that we got, and yeah, out. <laughs> Shenha is not uh, leaving her side because she got injured. I'm so so happy. I hope you guys do as well. We are definitely really happy to see them being okay with each other, especially Ningguang finally licking uh, Shenha. I know this is a weird video on towards the last part, but. Um, that's the only that's the only video that we were able to capture Ningguang licking Shenha, meaning like she actually fully accepts her. So it only took them like eight, nine days in total to just be really be okay with each other, and I'm really happy. And and to keep that in mind that they're both still adjusting to the house, to the owners, a lot of adjusting, and especially Ningguang came from like a lot of like a lot of stress, traumatic experiences from before because she, you know she grew up in a cage uh, from the breeder and like she's forced to like be with random kittens, so she always getting she's always ends up getting bullied, um, like being attacked. So that's why like she's blinking in one eye and 
it's from like the scratches the attacks like a lot of you know uh if you guys haven't watched the previous video definitely watch it you guys gonna see when we were getting ningguang and the breeder just like put two kittens that they don't know each other together and the other one is like really aggressive and then when before getting ningguang the breeder was like saying oh i shouldn't have done that yeah this this marks are just like we went to the vet seems fine the doctor said it's fine this this marks from her hair is like nothing there's just some the, the, they were just a little aggressive play and that's it nothing more but it's you can definitely see that Ningguang went through a lot. It was really difficult at first bringing a brand new kitten in the house. I'm really happy that it is 100% worth it. Just gotta be really patient. Anyways, they both have their Instagrams. Please follow them. Ningguang the Bengal, Shanha the Ragdoll. So definitely check them out. It's gonna be the in, in the links down in the description below if you guys wanna follow me too. MZ underscore viral for Instagram. And by the way, guys, I'll be doing a cameo or cameo. Um, uh, one of the in one of the GMA C TV series here in the Philippines, so please catch me. Hearts are nice. Hashtag hearts are nice. You guys gonna see me there as me. I'm pretty excited. I'm truly, truly happy to be uh, doing this. Um, so yeah, please catch that. And and if you guys wanna follow more of our story here with Ningguang and Shanha, um, yeah, just click the follow button or subscribe to this channel. Definitely just subscribe to this channel and turn on notification. And uh, hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace. Ooh, hi, hi, meow. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>